So <coughs> what we're doing here is we're just implementing a very simple thing, namely it just goes and applies convolution to some data. That's a useful operation that we might need later for a couple of other cases, but right now all it does is it just does a little bit of accounting, reshaping and so on to make things work and then it just invokes those convolutions. Okay. So let me go back to this and execute it. So if I, you know, go and, you know, convolve something with, you know, kernel of size three by three and I have a padding of one, and the input was eight by eight, then the output, lo and behold, is also eight by eight. Remember that was exactly the trick that I mentioned before. Or, for instance, if I have, you know, a convolutional kernel of size three, padding of one and stride of two, so this way I'm skipping every second entry, then rather than eight by eight, since I'm skipping every second entry row and column wise, I get four by four. So that's very unsurprising. Now, if I have something that's asymmetric, let's say I have a kernel size of three and five, let's do the math and we can just quickly verify what's going on. So here we have our eight by eight matrix, right, that's X. And we have a kernel of size three by five. So that's our kernel. Okay, so now if, I, and on top of that, I'm not padding on the rows, but I'm padding on the columns. So we have one extra here and one extra here. And we have strides of three and four. Okay, let's do the horizontal first. So we have size three. So we really have six positions, right? But we're jumping three at a time. So then, well, I, don't, I only really have space to squeeze in two of those filters, right? It's not, not enough space for the third one, because it's only eight pixels wide. So I have pixels one up to three here. I have pixels four up to six there, the second position. And then there, I'm out of space. So I only have two dimensions in this direction here. Now, for the vertical part, remember we have a height of five. We have a total of 10 pixels. So two would fit in. That's good. If I shift it entirely, since I'm not going to shift it entirely, but just by a step of four. So we have five pixels for the first one. Then we shift by four. So we're now at pixel number nine, then I would shift by four again. So eight plus five, right, that's 13. And 13 is out of range, so I get two horizontally and two vertically. Okay. If you're lucky, this is the only time in your life that you'll have to go over that. Maybe in the homework, but um, it's good to understand this once and then for the rest, let your code take care of it. Any questions? Yes? Why is the size of the height of the three? Um, because I probably got it wrong. But it doesn't really matter because uh, it's just first dimension versus second dimension. All right. I just took the first dimension as the width and the second as the height, but you could do it the other way around. That's true, in the, in the slide I had height times width. Yeah, I'm just drawing width times height because yeah, I mixed that up. Good catch. Any other questions? Okay, good.